morning everyone we're going to be doing some beautiful traditional style pencil drawing projects this morning I've taken these images of Pexel which are all royalty free um, these ones are all by Cotton Bro the photographer they're really stunning and they're going to be something lovely to work on just as a, a, a nice drawing okay now my ink cartridge was running out a bit so they've all gone a little bit of that twangy red so ignore that but it, it's fine you can see the tone will change which can make life easier sometimes the instruments you're going to need to be doing this or the equipment you need is first of all some paper now um, I'm looking at A4 mine's a little bit shorter than A4 but it's a roughly that size um, I've got a HB pencil I've got a 2B pencil I've got a traditional eraser and a putty rubber plus obviously a sharpener I also have a um, graphite stick as well so I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see how things pan out I want to keep it fairly simple now I'd normally recommend that you start off all these drawing techniques with a HB pencil however because of I'm filming this you won't be able to see the lines as well if I do that which is why I've got those extra options I'm going to go in with a 2B pencils purely so that you can see what I'm doing and understand the process if you can keep yours to a HB that would be good. The first rule of any pencil drawing is to keep your pencil nice and sharp so have a good sharpener that you can keep it sharp and sharpen constantly through the process. The other thing is that you have to first of all understand your image that you're talking about drawing. Now um, when you're drawing a human being you're generally looking for the flow, uh, a simple line that can summarise the whole pose as it is now with this you can see that it's quite a vertical pose um, and if I drew a line through her ankle up through her body you can see that that right her left the right arm to me is sitting just slightly shy to the right hand side of it then the body's over here now that means that a lot of the paper I need to leave for this section so I'm going to shift her over over here and I'm going to get that first line of flow just like we were talking about and this line can be curved you know it, it can loop it can do all manner of things but it's a line that sim summarizes the actual position then I'm going to mark roughly where I'm going to have the bottom foot and I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway around here okay then I'm going to mark halfway up now I know that as soon as I mark from here to here so from there to there is equal to there to here okay because the leg is generally the same length on both sides of the body sometimes that goes a little bit wrong but roughly it's a good starting point for any drawing pose you can see I've got that there once I've got that there I can use my pencil to measure that distance and I know that the ankle is going to be sitting there now if I sit the ankle there that means my foot because you can see her foot is pointing up is going to be sitting up here so it might be wise at this stage just to bring down the body and make that leg a little bit shorter so I'm going to bring that down and by taking that out I'm going to use my rubber I'm going to remove that measurement and then that means that again I'll measure from here to here I'll bring it up which means her ankle is going to be roughly over here but it's going to obviously be more to the right because of the way the curve of the leg into the torso but that means that her foot's then got some position on the paper otherwise you're going to fall off your bit of paper which is ideally not what we want once we've got that down then I'm going to look at putting that torso in Okay, and I can do, if I want it to be accurate I can measure halfway up and halfway should roughly be around the knee joint so if I half this line okay which is going to be around the knee joint obviously the leg is going to be over here because that's going to be where the arm is so I can if I wanted to because I might get confused bring the leg up here no that's around the knee joint and then I can see that the shoulder line for the torso is actually shorter slightly lower than the knee joint so I can put that in there and I can put her shoulders in over here okay then I've got the arm that's going to be coming off over here and sitting fairly flat and I can draw that angle by eye or I can measure it okay and then I can start bulking her up so I've got that I'm going to have the head sitting here because obviously her torso kind of 
around this point. We've got the torso going in here, which is triangular at this section of the hips, coming up to the upper section. Then I'm going to bring her leg in over here and I'm going to keep the legs just like triangles at the moment so that I can get the rough idea of the position in. Okay, now they're looking very kind of 1960s in style. The arm is coming out, the elbow for the arm is above the knee socket so we can see that knee socket and we know that's roughly where our knee socket is going to be. And then it's arching up here. So that I fundamentally got a stick person. Okay, and then her foot is going to go on top, and her foot is going to go on the bottom. Okay, and hopefully you can see that. Now I'm going to go over it a little bit harsher than I would recommend you, because obviously I want you to be able to rub these lines out. This is just your first section to making sure that your proportions are correct. I like graphic design, it's kind of right over there. So you should have something like this. Once you've got this, then you need to start bulking her up, okay? And you can start any way you want, but obviously do double check every time you're doing things that it does look like the correct position, that you're not slightly changing things over to places they shouldn't be you'll find that you want to start putting in her clothing and as soon as you do that you can see the shape of the arm muscles that should be generating that should go into two sections because you've got the muscle that sits in here the knee joint and look at that negative space the shape of the muscles into the leg up from the calf and into the ankle and then into the foot And treat the hand just like we treated the body. So first of all, build it up in stick formation to get the position and the length of various components of the hand, such as the fingers. Then look at building up those fingers. Like so. Eyes are quite low. Could you get those eyebrows you're going to swing in? The nose is slightly off centre to the left. working in more and more detail each time so looking at the fold any skin any muscles and we've got to bring that top arches up
fabric fucking around. that knee so it should be about halfway. So there you go, you've got your basic ballet dancer. Obviously you can work that up to a much higher stage of accurate drawing, tonal observation. It's completely up to you on where you want to take this. Uh, um, you can see here I'm just messing about, building up more detail, any tones. The more tone you generate, the more three-dimensional it's going to look. It's a typical kind of trick of the human eye. You can double check that your measurements are correct and that you know, you've got your proportions in touch the right place. But generally, here's your, your starting point that should give you a good, accurate drawing. So that's your first one. 